Welcome to the Life and Business Podcast, where it's all about creating the results you want in life and business through intentional thinking. And now, here's CEO, speaker, author, and award-winning life and business strategist, Cleidra Gross. Emotional exhaustion, the actual definition, is an accumulation of stressful events or a sense of loss of power or control. And I think it's safe to say that many of us, many of the conversations that I've had over the past week, people have shared, Cleidra, I'm just exhausted. I know I've even experienced emotional exhaustion. Just this sense of what can I do? What can I do? When there's so many things that we simply can't do as it relates to COVID-19, there are some things that we can't do as it relates to the racial tension, and then there are some things that we can. But what do we do with the emotional exhaustion? Every week I talk to you about the TFA, the Think, Feel, Act Cycle. And intentional thinking does lead to how we feel. But this week, I just want to offer a different twist on the think, feel, act cycle. There are times when what we are thinking, there isn't any other way to think about it. And what I mean by that is there isn't a silver lining. There isn't a positive spin. There isn't a a way to force our way through it. These are just situations where we don't want to be positive. We don't want to find a silver lining because they are um, situations that are not, they're just simply not right, especially as it relates to the current environment of racism. So what do you do in this situation where it isn't about changing your thoughts? Well, just like I talked to you about intentionally thinking, there is a concept of intentionally feeling. And what I mean by that, intentionally feeling, I encourage my clients to create what I call grief appointments. Grief appointments are where you set a begin and end time to actually grieve. And grief, the obvious is over life, and you may be experiencing that. There are also things that we are grieving just in terms of the way we used to be able to do life. You may be grieving over vacation plans that now they're not going to come true. You may be grieving over not being able to see a parent, or you may actually be grieving over the loss of a job, or you're wondering just this heightened sense of just not knowing having a question mark where you used to have certainty. All of those things can cause a feeling of grief. And so when you have these times of intentionally feeling, these times work, especially for leaders, because we don't have the kinds of positions where we can emotionally indulge in feeling bad. And so to make an appointment where you can intentionally feel, it allows you to express your true emotions and to give airtime to how you're actually feeling, what's really bothering you, what's really stressing you, to put out on a sheet of paper all that you can't control that's actually really burdening your heart. And when you allow these appointments, I recommend about 30 minutes. What it allows your emotional system, your emotions to do, energy, emotion, they are expressed. And then you can move on with your day. That doesn't mean that they go away, but because they have had a time to be intentionally expressed and intentionally felt, you then will be able to have the rest of your day to be intentional about thinking, which then can shift you into feeling a different way. So this week, to recover from emotional exhaustion, create an appointment for yourself to actually intentionally feel. A time where you can have emotional integrity. Most of the women that I coach, they are the shoulder for so many people. They're the ones with the advice. They're the listening ear. But they don't have that space for someone to hold for them, to be honest, that maybe they aren't fine. 
that yes, their faith is intact, but their heart is burdened. So having that emotional integrity with yourself is so important. And hopefully the appointments will be enough for you. But if you find that making the appointment, you're still emotionally exhausted, I would love to help you. This month in the Life and Business Academy, it's all about recalibrating emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So if that interests you, just go over to cleager.com and you'll see work with me. You can enter the academy or you can apply to actually talk to me so that we can get a strategy for how you can recover from your emotional exhaustion. All right, that's what I have for you this week. Take really good care of yourself and set an appointment to intentionally feel and you'll be on your way to recovering from emotional exhaustion. All right, take care and I'll see you next week.